Hi, I'm Dave with Dave Created. I just got done finishing an elf cutting board, and I'm going to show you how I got started from watching my favorite movie, The Hobbit. So stay tuned. Look at those dwarfs. They've got such amazing beards. What are they doing over there with the elves anyways? Hmm, I do like peanuts. Oh, they're going to go eat. Elves would eat green food. I'm eating peanuts. I love the elf architecture. You know what? I need to do something. I need to go create something. I'm going to make elf soup. No, not like soup out of elves. Soup from food that I think elves would eat. Like onions and sweet potatoes. Wait, something's not right. This board. This board is not an elf board. That's embarrassing. Oh, it's locked. Here, puppy, 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 puppy. Good dog. Yes, you are. Let's go for a dance. into the woodshed. A dark place where wood is. Now let's get started on this. First I need to do an elf cutting board. No, not that type of elf. Something respectable. A respectable elf. Something like Elrond. Yeah, he'll be happy with this cutting board. Now, I would suggest not trying to cut this fast at home. Now what I'm going to do is spray an adhesive on the back to hold the paper down to the wood. There we go. Skill saw. This will make my piece more manageable so I can take it to the bandsaw. It's important while using a bandsaw to adjust the height of it so that it, you don't have extra space where you might slide a finger in or something. And I'm going to go ahead and start playing some music and play this on fast forward speed because this is going to take a while.
What I'm using here is the angle grinder. It helps to rough out some of the corners. Now I'm using a die grinder with a cone on the end of it, just to help smooth out a little bit before I get in there with the Dremels. It's a little bit more aggressive. I use just a Dremel 100 here. It's the cheapest one you can find, really, for being an electric Dremel. And I buy the bits off the internet, cuts all. I'm doing some sanding just to smooth it up. Get rid of all the fibers that have been roughed up from the carbide burrs. I'm also fortunate enough to have a nice drum sander and flap sander. It really makes quick work of some of those edges. Now I'm not going to show all the sanding that I do here because it's quite boring. I use four different grits of sandpaper working up to 220 grit. This was pretty rough wood that I got originally. Pretty dirty, I had to get cleaned up. I wasn't pleased with the stem of this leaf cutting board being just plain, so I thought I'd put some bark on it by carving little pieces in. The important thing is to make sure that each little piece is unique in itself and not a pattern over and over again. Now that is good bark. The best bark. With a little bit of light sanding to finish it up, it will be finished. If you've stuck with me this far, then you know that you need to smash that like button and subscribe so you can get more content from me next week. Put a little bit of oil on the wood. And I find that the best way to put this oil on is to do it in fast motion. Here we go. You get the same results in one fifth of the time. Finally, I can make my elf suit. No, not real elves. Making it with things that elves would eat. I found a few more ingredients as well. I'm not really that good of a cook. But who's to say that elves are good cooks either? I'm adding onions, carrots, sweet potatoes, green onions, a bouillon cube, rice, water. If you know if that would make a good soup, let me know in the comments below. If you have some alternatives for a good elf soup, please let me know that as well. got this cast iron pot. I think that they would have something like that.
Next, we'll just give it a little bit of a stir before we start to cook it. Wait a minute. What kind of spoon is this? This isn't an elf spoon. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. For more videos that I'll be posting weekly on this channel. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave it in the comments section below. Thanks.